you've got clay, and then um, some fracturing, which is fascinating, right? So already you've got fracturing. And if you can explain how that works, I'd love to know. And then at this point, like, look at this. My gosh, the fact we even got this out of the ground, like that's a whole a lot of holes. And that's not it. So this is just starting at the base of facies four, and it continues on all through the rest of the core. But that's, that's your buggy facies. That's our facies four. And then this is where we call it bugs, but you can see your solution enhanced with fractures. So these bugs got so large to the point where the rock itself just started to c crackle upon itself. And it's good when you clean it, you can see, so there's a clean piece, and you can see this halo around the bug itself of enhanced porosity. And so when you take thin sections of this stuff, you can see that those, are, this is where you start getting that calcitization. This like is where you'll see the dedolomatization and the dolomite rooms that have intracrystalline porosity. And just, you know, leach dolomite rooms, you start getting a lot of enhanced porosity. In some ways, this whole platform, it, you can look at it almost from a uh, time diagenetic stain. So further down, you get holes without fractures and without that halo. And up here, as you come up higher, you're starting to get the holes with, the, so the bugs with enhanced porosity, and then further up, you get the holes with enhanced porosity and then fracturing. 